Good morning friends. Welcome to Panika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have taken one grammar and constructed the LR1 items. From those LR1 items, I have constructed the CLR1 parsing table. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about LALR1 parsing table. As I already said earlier, the LALR1 parsing table and CLR1 parsing table, we need to construct the LR1 items. Similarly, LR0 and SLR1, we need to construct the LR0 items. Am I right or wrong? So, for a given grammar, if you construct the LR1 items, you will get the same number of items. Am I right or wrong? But how it will be different from the CLR, the LALR1 parsing table? Now let me discuss about constructing of LALR1 parsing table for the same grammar. So for LALR1 also, you need to construct the LR1 item. So if for the same grammar, again, if you construct the LR1 items, you will get the same number of items only. So that's why I did not erase that one and construct the again. Okay. Is it clear? Now, if you look at it, in this LR1 items, I4 and I7, the production is same, but the look ahead is different. Am I right or wrong? I4 and I7, the productions are same, but the look ahead is different. So, we have taken two entries in the CLR1 parsing table. Similarly, if you look at it, I3, this one and I6, both our productions are same but the look ahead is different because here also you have a dot b here also you have a dot b here also you have dot a b dot b here also you have but here the look ahead is a or b here the look ahead is dollar so again i3 and i6 the productions are same the look ahead is different so in the clr1 parsing table we have taken two entries i3 and i6 Similarly, if you look at this one and this one, the productions are same, but the look ahead is different. So, which is I8, I9. So, what I will do in the LALR1 parsing table construction, I will combine them and I will make it as a only one state. Meaning is that I will not make it as a two different items. I will make it as a single item. Similarly, this I3 and I6, I will not make it as a two I entries. I will make it as a single entry. Similarly, I8 and I9, I will make it as a one entry. How I will do and how I will modify the CLR1 parsing table to LLR1 parsing table, I will discuss now. Okay. Now, let me use a single name called as I47. If I combine them as a single one, how it will looks? Let me discuss this one, I4 and I7. The production is same, B determines B dot B. Now you can ask me what will be the look aheads. Here you have the look aheads as A and B. Here you have the look ahead is dollar. So you will have the look aheads as A, B, dollar. Are you able to understand? Meaning is that now you need to write the reduced move, which is what? I7, na? I7 and I4. Here what we have written in I4, we have written as A comma B and at I7 we have written at the dollar. Now, we have to write this reduced move in a comma b comma dollar and we will make it as a single state instead of making it as a two different entries. Are you able to understand it or not? Let me use a name called i47 for this one. Okay. Are you able to understand? Similarly, if you look at we have i3 and we have i6. If I combine, I will get a single entry where I will have a b dollar as a look ahead are you able to understand that one i will make it as i36 so i47 i will make it a single one i47 and i36 i will make it as i36 okay i8 and 9 i will make it as i89 now if you look at wherever s3 is there now you can make it as s36 okay let me then i will reduce the number of states so here you will make it as s36 here you have S6. Now I am combining I3 and I6. I am combining and I am making it as I36. Single state I am making. So here also you have 6. You will make it as I36. 
Similarly, here you have 3, you will make it as 3, 6. Here you have 6, we will make it as a 3, 6. Are you able to understand? Anywhere else? Reduced move, you can ask me, sir. Again, here R3, you make it as R36. Then it will become what? Production number 36. We have three productions only. So, production number, reduced move, we will not change the number. It will be R3 only. If I write here 36, then it is meaning is that we have reduced the production number 36. No, that is wrong because only we have three productions in the grammar. So, we will not change the name. Anywhere else we need to change? Only shift part and the go to part only the numbers will change at the reduced move the numbers we will not change it okay now similarly if you look at i4 and i7 i'm combining and i'm making it as i47 so this will be s47 this will be s47 this will be s47 i hope it is visible for you and this s7 i will make it as s47 okay anything else now i8 and i9 i have to make it as i89 so this will be 89 and this will be 89 okay are you able to understand it or not can i erase this one and i can make it into this yes clr1 parsing table i will make it into lr1 parsing table then you will understand how many states you will get after reducing it is it clear Now let me construct the LALR1 parsing table from the CLR1 parsing table. We will have the items, we will have the action part, we will have the go to part. This will not change. Am I right? Any table we will have these items. Okay. And we will have the action part consists of the terminals which is A comma B comma dollar. And at the go to part, you will have the non terminals which are A and B. And you have how many items? Now let's check it. We have item number I0, and we have the item number I1, we have the item number I2. Now item number I3 and I6, I'm combining, I'm making it as I3, 6. Similarly, 4 and 7, I'm combining, and I'm making it as item number I4, 7. Then I5 is same i6 again i no need to write i combine it as 3 6 i7 i no need to write i8 and i9 i made it as i8 9 okay so totally how many items you got here 3 6 7 here you have 10 items from 10 items we got the 7 items okay now let me fill the remaining entries in the table before that let me draw the line so that Whatever the confusion you will have, all the confusion will be avoided. Now look at this one. Okay, from this L CLR1 parsing table, I want to convert into LLR1 parsing table. I not on A where it is going S36. So let me write here S36. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Okay, or you can make this i36 as i3 itself and you can write s3 okay are you able to understand that i will do later and from this one you got i s47 and this is 1 and 2 am i right or wrong similarly i1 is accept let me write this one this is i47 i hope it is visible for you okay and this is accept this accept will not change as I'm a left-hander, I'm a little bit facing the difficulty from writing from here. But I want you to see this table and then you will get this table. Okay. And then I2, you have S36 and S47 on A and B. Let me write it S36, S47. Okay. And you have the 5 at the B. Okay. Now I36, you have S36 and S47 and you have 8, 9. Okay, I47 you have R3, okay, R3, now this reduced move, R3 will come here, am I right or wrong, because when you are combining these two, you will get R3 here, am I right or wrong, just now we have discussed, 
Am I right? Because B determines B dot. At I4, we have A or B or look ahead. At I7, we have the look ahead as dollar. When I am combining them as a single state, I need to add the look ahead so that A or B or dollar. So this reduced move, I need to write it in the A and B and dollar. That is what I have discussed now. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? This is a little bit confusion, but slowly you will understand. Okay. Now come to the I5. I5 we did not change. So which will be R1 only. Okay. I36 we have written S36, S36 which is same only. And you have 89. Okay, no problem. I89 now you need to combine them. You will get R2, R2, R2. Is it clear? Here I8 you have R2, R2 here. I9 you write to right here. Is it clear? So if you see that we have entered all the entries. Now if you want to change the, the number of items means the name of the items you can change like this I3, I4, I5, I6. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? Now you can change the numbers also here. S36 you can write it as S3 and S47 you can write it as S4 only. Okay. This 1 and 2 is leave it as it is. S36 I will write it as S3. S47 I will write it as S4. Here also I will write 3. Here also I will write 4. Here in place of 8, 9 what should I write? Can you tell me? I should write it as 6. Are you able to understand? Here the remaining part is same. So you have S3, S4, S3, S4, S3, S4. And R3 is the production number only. R1 you have at the I5 and R2 is the production number 2. So I hope you have understood for the given grammar how I constructed the LALR1 parsing table. Now I want to tell one important point. Please note down this important point. Okay. Now for the same grammar I have constructed the LR0 items. From the LR0 items I have constructed the parsing table of LR0 and SLR1 parsing table. If you look at the number of entries in the table is same. Will you agree with me or not? Yes. Similarly, when you converted the CLR1 to LLR1, you will get the same number of entries. Okay. So, I can say that LLR1 and CLR0 and SLR1, the number of entries in the parsing table is equal. Now, you can ask me, what about the CLR1? The CLR1 may be greater than or equal to, which is greater than? CLR1 will be more okay, or equal to. Sometimes the number of entries in the LR0 table and CLR1 will be equal, sometimes may be greater than. This is the case we have got the more number of entries because the productions are same there but the look ahead is different. So this is very very important point. I request you to note down in somewhere. Is it clear the number of entries in the parsing table of LR0 and SLR1 and LLR1 is equal. However, it may be greater than or equal to CLR1 parsing table. So with this one, I hope you have understood why the CLR1 is more powerful as compared to the LR0, SLR1 and LALR1. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.